hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel um excuse me in advance i'm just coming down with a cold my symptoms aren't too bad but my voice sounds a little different as you guys can hear it's a little bit congested but i feel fine so on with the show so i'm just coming back to you guys for an update on my interlocking if you guys watched my previous video you will have seen that i interlocked using the crochet needle or the crochet hook because it's not a needle the crochet needle is like an actual needle where you crochet you know loose hairs back into the lock that's the difference of that but the crochet hook or latch hook the same one you do crochet braids with it has a little latch anyway if you guys have seen my last video as I said you will have seen that I interlock using that one so I use the latch hook and I also use my interlocking tool which I just ordered from Amazon so I just wanted to pinpoint some of the differences that I found personally interlocking using both tools so I'm gonna let you guys know the pros and cons and which one I prefer and why so we'll start with the crochet hook or the latch hook with that one I'm personally I'm used to using that because that's the only tool I've used to interlock my hair this far so I'm personally used to it the only downside I don't like about it is it's kind of easy to grab onto other hairs of a neighboring lock and accidentally marry them even if you don't want to so you have to be careful with that but the good thing is you can interlock pretty close to the root because the latch hook is so small so you can really get it in there close if you want to moving on to the interlocking tool what I really like about that one is as opposed to the latch hook it's not as easy to grab onto a neighboring lock or get into the roots of a neighboring lock and if you do it's easy to pull it right back out because there's no latch and it's not an actual hook it's just a uh, you know it's just a point so it's easy to not marry a lock also I like about it is that um, once you feed your lock through the tool it's very easy to go in different directions as opposed to the latch hook without having to go through grab the lock close the latch pull it through and just it sounds like a lot of steps and um, and it's not but while you're doing it you want fluidity and you don't want something that's gonna like get you caught up you know and with the interlocking tool it kind of eliminates that the downside of the interlocking tool though for me was um, and this is an easy fix was just the opening my locks are pretty frizzy as you guys can see they're baby locks still and they're still you know transforming and going through everything they're going through and um, I found it a little not too hard but a little harder to feed it through my particular interlocking tool now if I had a bigger opening that wouldn't be a problem so I wouldn't say that's a huge problem but it's just that the interlocking tool that I have it made it a little bit difficult but other than that once I got it through it wasn't an issue at all yeah and uh, this is actually I was supposed to come to you guys with this video a little bit sooner but I ended up um life happened <laughs> and it's about a week later so um sorry guys my camera died again because your girl stay unprepared and my camera <laughs> seems to be never charged whenever i want to record so anyway all that aside i just wanted to close this out and let you guys know that i like both of them but if i had to choose which one i would pick up the most to interlock it would probably be the interlocking tool and <laughs> it feels kind of weird for me to say because all I've used as I said is a crochet hook or the latch hook and that worked for me for a while and it still does work for me but I think I like the ease and as I said the fluidity of movement with the interlocking tool so I'll probably be using that one to interlock going forward not saying that I'll never use the crochet hook I will but as of right now I'm feeling the interlocking tool a little bit more so yeah that's kind of all I had to say um, just wanted to follow up with you guys on what I personally felt um, worked better for me with interlocking you guys can try the two and determine 
which will work best for you I would show you guys my results but um I don't feel like turning around to be honest and as I said it's been a week so um yeah I mean You guys know what interlocked locks look like. The gist of what it probably looks like all over my head um, based on those two rows. It pretty much just looks like that. But um, like I said, I'm a little bit sick. I have to run and go get my daughter now. And yeah, so we're gonna end this here <laughs> before my camera dies a second time. And after that, I'm just I'm probably not gonna close this out. You guys will get the outro and that'll be that. But I don't want to do that to y'all, so here you go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. I quit my job on a Monday. I told my boss, I'm the boss now. He told me he don't give a fuck, so I told him he can sit the fuck down.